All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I am coming at you, Euro Truck Simulator 2. A couple things real quick. Number one, no video last night. That came from the fact that I got very involved in what I was doing online, and I got completely lost in time. I haven't been able to pre-record ahead uh, like I've been trying to do, and um, I just got so involved in what I do, and the next thing I knew it was 5 in the morning, and there was just nothing I could do. So, no video yesterday. I'm going to try to make that up by posting on Saturday. Um, but no promises. Uh, number two, I'm really tired today. I only got about five and a half hours sleep uh, because I had to go out. It's the third of the month. I had to go out shopping. I did a bunch of shopping. I managed to buy, like, one Christmas present so far uh, for my niece. It's her gift. Um, I bought some stuff for my dog that was needed at this point uh, my big dog um, I can't you know I just just a couple things that needed to be done so physically and mentally I'm a little tired right now uh, so hopefully that won't affect me too much today and um, I'm going to be showcasing um, a game I just p managed to pick it up finally it's called this war of mine I've been talking about it finally managed to get it I bought it on Steam, um, even though it only left me with uh, a very little bit of money that I could use. Um, the The point about it all is uh, I really wanted the game, and um, it's something that I can play on the side. And I might I just want to show it off for anyone who hasn't seen it, and it, it's really involving and really really. Um, it's just really good, and I want to show that off. But that's not going to start, like, today. I start that next week or something. We'll see. But, uh, anyways, back to the grindstone, huh? Now, I remember we only had uh, a couple jobs that we could pick from where we, where we are from. Yep, and we decided that uh, the, um, we're going to take the olive oil because, uh, yeah, yeah. 1069 uh, per kilometer versus 890, 4700 versus 3200, kind of a no-brainer on this selection. Plus, this is fragile, so I actually get a bonus for it, and it's a kind of a bigger trailer, you know, it's a deeper. i actually very familiar with this trailer size. I used to, and it's actually very consistent with companies like uh, FedEx, uh, UPS, I used to load UPS trailers that were like this. Uh, for a candle company. I'll explain it uh, later. And it's really, really... Uh, I don't know. It, it's kind of a really tedious job, but I actually liked it, and I got sad when I got pulled off it. Um, it, was, it was really upsetting. Oh, come on, frame rate. You can do better than this. Eh, slightly better. We'll see how it's... We'll see how it, uh... Holds. Lights. Windshield wipers. I always forget to put more volume in my ears. I don't know if I'll be able to get my video card next month, although I'm going to try. Um, I may have to wait till February because I got to get a tire on my car changed, and that's about a hundred dollars. But it honestly shouldn't be too bad. God damn it, frame rate! There's no reason for it to do that. All right. Being outside the truck helps with the frame rates in, in town. Don't ask why. I don't know. Come on, car.
I'm already over the white line by the time it turned yellow, so I'm safe. This, this is ridiculous how the frame rate just... It's an optimization problem, because I was easily getting 30 uh, frames per second, and then it drops down to 25 and 20 um, all of a sudden. And if I shut fraps off and turn it on again, it'll go back up to about 35, 40. So it's an optimization problem, and probably not with the game, if I'm to be honest. Uh, yep, tick job. Oh, there's a speed bump. And a little speed bump. I'm going to try and fix the frame rate one more time before we get out of here. It's really amazing. It's 60 frames per second when I turn it off and then drops so hard when I record. It's absolutely depressing. I really hope that uh, SLIing my cards will make a difference. Sometimes I think I drive better like this. But not always. It's a cool perspective that you don't get to see too often. Oh, you have got to be kidding. Nope. We're going the other way. As you can see in the map, you can, we can go the other way. Um, remember what I said about driving better like this? Yeah. I think I was lying. Yeah, I'm going to go this way because I am not waiting for all that traffic. Which will probably just keep piling up. Besides, this, take us, this takes us past what looks like would be a recruiting office. It's always good to have more recruiting offices because it's a better chance to... Um, it's a better chance to get... Um, higher rated drivers. Really? Oh no! Majestic truck dealer. Cool! Once we get out of town, we'll be able to get back in the truck. And I'll be able to fix the frame rate again. The rain doesn't help. The rain screws it up as well.
I'm sorry for all the camera movement. I should probably slow it down a little bit, but it seems to be working okay so far. Yeah, I took that a little wide. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, the frame rate really is just that bad. It shouldn't be. I'm up on the highway now. The rain must really be screwing with me right now. Come on, there's no need for this. I'm going to use this rest stop real quick and see if I can adjust this. I apologize for all this, but this should just be doing a little bit better. I mean, if I was pulling 60 frames in town, there's absolutely no reason for me to be this low up here, regardless. So I'm just going to stop right here. Alright, that's a little better. Very little. I should probably just drive outside the truck for now, to be honest. Why not? Make it a challenge. It's like I said, though, I don't know if SLIing the cards will really make a difference because of um, fraps. I don't know what fraps does to recording. If it's the disk, memory, processing power. I've got plenty of processing power. I've got plenty of memory. So it's either... <sighs> Come on. It's either uh, disk... Ah, rain stopping. That should help. And so it's either discs, you know, the disc itself, or it has to do with, uh, hooray, inside the truck. <laughs> and so it has to do with the disc it's recording to, or it has to do with, um, um, you know, just not enough video card power. Which I really, really, really hope fixing by adding some more video card processing power. But enough talk about that. Yeah, um... I really got involved in, um... what I was doing last night. Uh, I was playing Eve. And... A couple combat sites had spawned, and I really wanted to knock them out. One of them gave me uh, some trouble, and I had to switch over some things for some different defense on my ship. And it took me a lot longer than I had anticipated that it would take. And so the next thing I knew, it was 5 in the morning, and I still had to set things up to be moved from the station I was in to the station where I sell all my stuff that I get over the week. And the stuff that I buy at the station that I sell at shipped over to where I actually keep my combat guy stationed. So, yeah, I got rather busy, to be honest. Um, and like I said, the next thing I knew was like, whoa, uh, and I never did my video. Oh, I really got to settle down more and get my recordings done. Uh... 
on the weekends like I've been wanting to because that really does help me not miss uh, a video session number one and number two and more importantly I can uh, anticipate you know how long an upload is going to take and plan out accordingly I can't believe I gotta wait all the way till March. Freaking March for my internet to be fixed. I mean, like I said, yes, I'm getting my internet connection for free now. But still. Man. It's just really uh, aggravating. Well, yeah, what can you do? It's fast enough to play my games. Like I said, the biggest inconveniences come around peak use times uh, when I can't stream um, from YouTube very well. Like, I can't get a 720 video uh, to work. I have to take it down to 480. Well, woe is me. First world problems at that point. But I do find it annoying. But then I also have Netflix. I'm watching a lot of stuff on Netflix right now and Netflix is very good at, st at streaming even in HD uh, on the bandwidth that I do have because it's just a much better streaming program much better uh, you know much more professional hardware I guess you could say I don't know why I turn my lights off I should just leave them on because it's getting late already might as well just leave them on so I'm like, you know, it's 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 more nitpicking annoyance, and it's fast enough for the games that I play. You know, it really is for my Eve, for um, Eve. <laughs> That's basically what I play, Eve. So. At least in terms of online, you know. I'm considering going back into Dark Souls, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I actually do want to make a Sunbro. Um, I do want to, you know, build a Dex character over Strength. And I really don't like where I left my last character. You guys saw how far, you know, basically how far I went with that. Um, I'm really just not happy with what I did. And I'd like to fix that. So, time will tell, you know, how I do. Time will tell. Or if I even go back, like, right now the game that I play, like, while I'm uploading, um, I play Binding of Isaac. I'm going to be playing this war of mine. Um, Binding of Isaac, this war of mine, um, and Saints Row 4, which, funny story, I picked up in the summer sale really cheap and haven't touched until now. <sighs> I got kind of a lot like that. Like, I've only played a little bit of Borderlands 2 that I picked up in the summer sale. I've got, like, so many games I picked up in the summer sale that... I, you know, I'm one of those people who's like, oh, this game's really cheap. Oh, this game's really cheap. Oh, this game's really cheap. Uh-huh. And then what do I do? Don't play them. And there are probably some games I, I won't pick up, like Assassin's Creed Unity. I have no interest in that. And not just because of the bad PC port. It, it really goes uh, beyond a bad... PC port. I mean, there just seems more to it. They were head. They were so headed in the right direction with uh, Black Flag, and then they just completely scrapped all of that and went back to uh, ah fifty-seven dollars. It's okay. He's made more than he's lost, so he's cool. Uh, yeah, they just 
went back to standard gameplay, except, oh, this time you can have multiplayer. Mm, no. No, 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 no. I'd rather be in a ship again. No, I'd rather that innovation. I mean, here's what they accomplished with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Honestly, here's what they accomplished. They set the precedence for the possibility of a whole new dimension of pirate games. I should slow down. Yes, this is construction, but... Man, I'll tell you right now, speed cameras in construction... No, but they set up a whole new precedence for, for playing a pirate game. Because Do you know what you could do with that and what they should do with that? How they should capitalize on it? Well, you get to be a pirate and you get a small ship and you can upgrade the ship. You can capture larger ships where you can maybe even build a pirate fleet, take over the oceans, decide you know, what ships you want to attack and not. And there could be so much to it. You know, you could sail around in first person or you can do it in third person until you find a ship. You know, you could do intelligence. You could roam shipping lane, known shipping lanes. Or you can try and maybe track down ships that are going outside of the shipping lanes because they have more valuable stuff. You can take on uh, Navy ships that are in protection. All the things you could do. And you could do it using the black flag um, setup for all their ocean stuff that they were doing. I mean, the possibilities are incredible. I bet you thought I was going to say endless. Actually, I was thinking to, and I was like, well, endless isn't really true. It's more like, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's just a whole new dimension. Because a lot of pirate games, you know, they're third person. And there's a lot, and there's a lot of stuff that just doesn't work. Like Sid Meier's, Sid Meier's Pirates is decent, but I'd much rather do it in, in a Black Flag style, like where you can board a ship and you can fight Assassin's Creed style or something of that nature to take over the ship, or you can just sink the ship and become notorious. You can take prisoners, take no prisoners. Uh, ransom them off, kill them, try and turn some of them into your crew. Um, all kinds of things that you could do using that system. And I don't know why anyone hasn't yet. I'm, won I'm wondering, and in all due honesty, hoping that something, anything, is in the works to make that happen. Because I'd be all over that game. I'd be all over that game. A pirate game in the first or... Well, maybe not first, but third person view. Like Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And, and the little bit that they did in um, Assassin's Creed 3. The one in the revolutionary uh, time. That would just be amazing. You take out the assassin part of it and just make it being a pirate and becoming a, a you know famous pirate and hunted and, and and all those things it would just be wow you know and they need to pick up on that and they need to run with it because it could be a whole new uh, IP it could be a whole new one a whole new franchise which when I say that I actually shudder a little bit because triple-a titles and franchises haven't been the kindest lately have they no no they haven't with games constantly being rushed out and um, bad ports to PC and yeah, that's just horrible stuff. And I'm not fond of it, if I'm to be honest with you. 
And like I said, I want to do a vlog about that. And I honestly probably will uh, at some point. But I don't know when. You know, I'd like to do a little something like Boogie2988 where I talk about video games and the video game industry. But the thing is, is like... Boogie is, is a lot more informed. You know, he's a lot more informed. He's a lot more in touch with the gaming world than I am. And I suppose it helps that he has uh, a couple million subscribers. I know he has over a million. I don't know how far over a million. But I know he has over a million subscribers. And, you know, that probably helps. Because when you get to be that big, you can contact companies and ask for review copies of the game. And, or if they won't, you can even just buy the game outright with little problem, you know? Oh, there's speed cameras here. I mean, I, let's slow down. Oops, uh, one second. That was a sticky load, as I like to call it, where the game froze up loading, and that's part of what causes the unsync in my voice and the sound. Because it's still recording sound, but the frames freeze up, so the sounds get ahead of the actual actions. Uh, sorry. But I kind of need to go this way. You know, so I'm sorry again for all like the flickering in the beginning when I fought the frame rate. But not much longer. One month, maybe two. And I'll have uh, double the video card power of what I have. That's what I'm really looking forward to doing. And yes, I have enough power to run it. The two cards combined will actually take less power than my 570 did. So... you I didn't realize we were already here actually I want to go this way no I'm not skipping parking Oops. I knew I had it wrong. I always do that. Come on, baby. Sneak in there for me. I'm off. Let me straighten it out a little bit. Straighten it out a little bit more. Alright. I think we can get it from here. Oh. We're steering this too much. Want to go the other way with it? Yep. Yeah. Keep it on a slight turn to that side, and we should slip in. No problem. Bingo. Nice. Sadly, we are far from leveling. But, hey. Actually, let's rest first. I honestly forget to do this a lot, and that's just to go and rest. And we can go maintenance our truck. There's a garage not far from here, and possibly another dealership, which would be nice. I actually wouldn't mind finding an Aveco dealership, because, again, Aveco trucks are cheap. Not that I would buy all Aveco. I just want one Aveco as my, as my next truck, because it's the cheapest truck to buy. At not about ninety four thousand. So if I can e if I can reach around a hundred and fifty thousand, I'll be uh, all good. Honestly, hundred fifty thousand would be enough for me to buy the truck and hire a new driver, and still have enough of a cushion for me to be comfortable with. So that's kind of my goal right now. So I got about forty thousand more to go. 
I got my loan coming in soon, which means I'll have 45000 to go. Uh, Scania dealership. Oh, that's all right. Uh, the garage is off here. I w believe I was already over the yellow when that changed, so I'm safe there. And the garage is here. Okay. Ah, no, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to hit enter. Uh, service. Yep. Just keep our truck serviced. As I do after every run. Get some rest. Oh, lovely. Look, look, Driver Charles 1000. I made the right choice, man. All right, so let's see what our next job will be next time, possibly. Maybe we'll get more of a selection. Oh, yeah, three trailers. Awesome, three. <laughs> God. Oh, that is one of the shortest trips I've ever seen. And we will not be taking that. We will probably take... Actually, this is only three cents, and it's... Oh. I hate driving in the United Kingdom. Nothing against the United Kingdom, honestly. I think it's a beautiful place, a lot of history. And I, I definitely love um, the British cars, Jaguar, Aston Martin. I really do. But um, I just don't like driving on the other side of the road in the game because I always get confused. <laughs> and the fact is that despite this is uh, close to $2,000 more, the ferry trip over is going to cost us about 1000 So it's not as big as a profit margin. But at only $0.03 cents less, uh, I I've got to. I've got to do that. So we'll take the the video game consoles. The fitting, <laughs> we'll take the video game consoles in the next run, and hopefully we'll be able to start opening some stuff up. Jeez, honestly, three. Uh, look at all the cool trailers out there. Look at them all. I can't take them. Why? <sighs> Either way. That's going to be me done for this episode, folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next time, this is going to be one big bugger. I will be signing out. And I'll see you then.